Hey guys, Mr. Bitter Frosty here, bringing you some Black Ops 3 nuclear gameplay. It was recommended to me, so I thought, you know what, I'll fulfill the promise, and here it is. I uploaded another video, so I hope you enjoy it with the M8A7, obviously. My favourite gun in Black Ops 3. And yeah, this, this gameplay, a uh, little bit slower in the sensitivity, if you haven't noticed. Uh, this is on controller. Uh, this is an old gameplay. Uh, unlike my Man of War gameplay I posted the other day, that was on the Zim, but... Obviously, this is um, older gameplay now. In saying that, I want to talk about something. Because I've had two comments uh, recently. And, you know, I don't like to bring up comments. But it just surprises me how dumb people can be. Honestly. Um, so, the first one was a guy responded to me saying, you know, Frosty, you know, I live in Germany. And I did something with my VPN and wanted to try playing in Australia and American lobbies. And the first thing I said is, okay, so uh, in my head, this is what I think. I'm like, okay, you want to play in Australian and American lobbies? Why? And obviously, the first thing he says is, oh, because it's easier. Because uh, when I switched, all of a sudden, when I switched to another place, I dropped the deatomizer, so it's classified as easier. Let me just say, first off, that's really fucking idiotic to say. Um, I don't know why you would think that, honestly. Um, the Australian player base, if you haven't realised, is really fucking small. If you look at other countries like America, for example, they have so many more players, which gives you more opportunities for easier lobbies. A lobby, when you get a nuke, a lot of the time is based on the players you are versing. It doesn't matter if you're on a really laggy ping. For example, I have played on American lobbies. That doesn't mean all Americans are bad. It means I got in a good lobby in an American lobby. Like, I could play on a 200 ping, and if they're versus, if I'm playing, I'm a 4KD player, if I'm versing someone that has like a 0.3KD, it doesn't make a difference if I have a 200 ping, they're gonna die, they don't know what they're doing, you know what I mean? So, just to back that up real quick, um, don't bother changing countries just to play a fucking game, that's just, that's honest, honestly, if you're doing that, um, I don't know what to say to you, other than, you know, maybe just try and get better, because... If you have to do that, for, like, because not only that, you get a really weird lag compensation as well. Especially on um, Infinite Warfare specifically, where it's not even that bad to play on, to be honest. It's really, like, you, you sponge a lot, to be honest. I don't reckon the server actually puts you where you actually are. Obviously, when you're lagging, if you didn't know, you see, uh, you can see people before they see you. The only difference is, uh, if you, obviously, your ping's garbage, so your boards aren't going to register as fast as theirs, but... It's still a pretty distinct advantage, so just keep that in mind. And then, um, you know, that sort of bugged me a little bit. What the fuck does he mean? Like, your lobbies are godly, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, my fucking win loss on this game is nearly an 8. And I don't leave games. I play every freaking lobby I get. I've played over 2,000 games. I have over, like, over 2,000 wins, I meant to say. Like, I don't leave lobbies for lobbies. Like, I just play the game, you know? Like, just chill, man. Um... Honestly, like, I hope you've stick, like, stick by. This isn't, like, a massive go at you. This is just the fact that, you know, on my channel, man, I've posted hundreds and hundreds of nuclears, hundreds of deatomizers, and I have gotten nukes on 3KD players, 3.5KD players, 2.5KD players. So, I can nuke sweat, so don't get that twisted. Just being like, oh, you, you just versus shit players. No, that's, that's not how it works. Um, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely not how it works. The other comment that was like, what the fuck? Like, what the, where the fuck are these kids coming from, man? They must be getting bored at night. So the other comment, I was like, what the fuck is this kid doing, man? Uh, like, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, like, if you want to comment something stupid, you're either going to get blocked, or I'm going to bag the comment out like crazy and be like, what the fuck were you thinking? So this, this kid was like, oh, you wouldn't be able to do that on PC with what you're doing. I'm like, once again, I'm like, what the fuck? First off, why do I care? I'm playing the game for fun. And second off, who the fuck plays PC for COD? I, I, I'm sorry, but that the player base in Australia specifically... What, you, you're going to play fucking COD in Australia on PC? You're fucking ridiculous. I'm not waiting fucking 30 minutes for a lobby. I watch PwnStars.com, one of the most renowned PC players for Call of Duty. He waits like just as long and he lives in America. Like, what the fuck are you on about, man? He's like, oh, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do that on a PC, yeah, fucking, yeah, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say, man. Um, once again, if you didn't realise, 
you know. I've been saying that quite a lot. You can play controller on a PC. And you get aim assist with that shit. So, if I had to, I could easily switch to controller or mouse. Like, people don't understand. And this is what really frustrates me about my channel now is people don't understand. I played controller since Black Ops 2 on COD. I started COD in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. I played controller since then. Ever since then, you know, PS1 days, I was playing controller, playing fucking jet ski racing and on Gran Turismo. Like, I've been playing controller for a long fucking time. I've been on keyboard and mouse for three months. Four months, nearly. So, I'm going to take that as a compliment because, um, obviously, uh, you only watched one video. I recommend watching every video I've posted back in the day and you will see... It's not about the apparatus you're using. It's about the player. You could give anyone a scuff, which is a modded controller for PS4 that allows you to use paddles to jump. You could give a one KD player a scuff. That's not going to make him instantly better than a guy with a standard controller. You know what I mean? I could give them a keyboard and mouse. I've had people buy it and say, Frosty, I want to buy the product. Okay, go buy it. Oh, Frosty, I don't really like it. I don't understand why yours is different to mine. Why is mine not working the same as yours is? It's just like, what the fuck? Like, the amount of people... Like, I get asked this all the time. All the time. Keyboard and mouse, you don't buy for an advantage. You buy it because if you buy a scuff, keep in mind, after one to three months, that shit don't work. If you're happy to buy three to four scuffs a year, then stay on controllers. If you want to get a Zim, you get it so it lasts a little longer it doesn't give you that advantage people don't understand until they actually use it and a lot, i've had a lot of people and you can go on the even the forums oh i bought a zim and i want a refund it doesn't happen like that if you buy a zim and you're like oh no i don't i don't like it, it it's not as good as what everyone else says it is it's just like duh you fucking dickhead what are you doing that's been my commentary i hope you enjoyed thank you for subscribing thanks for all the likes on my last video too love you guys peace